Hello and welcome to FD TV. We are back again with another episode. I'm your host Ali, joined with my fellow co-host Jawad. Jawad, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Ali. Make sure to hit a thumbs up button before we get started. And hey, subscribe to our channel. Let's get into this. So a big news coming in from Italy. The CEO of Sassuolo has mentioned two clubs that are in contention and fighting over the signature of Manuel Locatelli, the defensive midfielder for Italy and Sassuolo. He has been brilliant for the past couple of seasons. Ever since he was let go by Milan, he has transformed his game from strength to strength. Now, the CEO says that two clubs are in contention, Arsenal and Juventus. Which role at which club suits him better? Me being a Milan fan and Milanista, I would want him, I would much rather have him go to a club like Arsenal, right? Because I don't want to see him at our rivals, right? And thriving in there as well. Because he is our youth product. He is uh, one of the players that I, I felt bad that we had to let go. But uh, it, it was in his favor that he went away from Milan. Because at Milan, he, he wouldn't have to, uh, became the player that he did. And uh, what uh, just by the way, what a team Sassuolo has put together. Jeremy Boga, uh, Domenico Berardi, and then now Malu and Locatelli. All three of these uh, players are being linked away with the move. Uh, for, uh, to a bigger club that really shows that Sassuolo is doing something right uh, they have this uh, almost talented entire management team which is able to really transform and bring the best out of the young players that they have and really make a good use of for them right and both uh, Locatelli and Berardi specifically have been contributing goals uh, and have been a scary outfit to watch so uh, a club like Arsenal does really uh, suit him and I feel like that's where he should be going but that me being a little bit uh, you can almost call it favoring him away from Juventus not to say that he's not going to succeed at Juventus because look what they've done with Federico Chiesa uh, and uh, Kuloseski, right? Two bright talents that they picked and plucked from minor uh, Serie A clubs and have really put them on the world stage. Chiesa is starting to show the world why uh, his family name is so big in Italy and why he is one of the stars of the Italian national team going in the future. So if uh, e either Berardi or uh, Locatelli move away, or even Jeremy Boga for that matter moves away from Sassuolo, it's going to be a big, big gap to fill for them. But it's about time that these players got to a club which matches their ambition. So uh, I say Arsenal. Do you say Juventus? And from a technical standpoint, if I look at Arsenal's midfield, they have Thomas Partey, one of the best defensive midfielders in the entire planet. Uh, let's not forget that he was the star man Atletico Madrid, at Atletico Madrid and the performances he put in on the big stages were a treat to watch. Obviously, he has not exploded at Arsenal, but he has done well and I think he will only improve in next season. The reason for his poor performances on a number of occasions is because the midfielder on the left side of him was Granit Xhaka. The two midfielders are completely contrast in nature. They don't complement in each other in any way. Their playing style is different. Their lack of positional uh, sensibility and their lack of telepathy that uh, the two midfielders have, like Tony Cruz and Luka Modric, is not there. Now, someone like Locatelli filling in the uh, Granit Xhaka role at Arsenal will bring the best out of Thomas Partey and that will stabilize the midfield that Arsenal are lacking ever since Patrick Vieira left the club years ago. Now, Locatelli brings in a lot of different options. Uh, he likes to uh, fluctuate in the space between the uh, number 10 and the number 8. That is his ideal spot. He is like Luka Modric on certain occasions. When you look at his initial match with Italy in Euros, you would fi find the similarities that I'm talking about with him and Luka Modric. He's a brilliant player and I think Juventus obviously makes more sense because he's Italian and uh, Juventus are the biggest club in Italy. But going at Arsenal and challenging yourself might bring the best out of Locatelli and might put him in one of the best midfielders of the world category. So Arsenal for me would be a better option for Locatelli. But let's see what happens. But I, I must have to mention his numbers last season were tremendous. A 7.12 match rating throughout the season with 7 goals and 4 assists in 48 appearances. So that just showcases he's fit and he's not an injury prone. Like Arsenal have a lot of problems with players who were injured ever since Jack Wilshere was playing at the club and Aaron Ramsey also have a very poor injury record. So now Arsenal really need to invest in a midfielder who can stabilize them for years. Do you think that he can get the best out of party and put Arsenal back somewhere in the top eight of the Premier League? He is a player which uh, should be able to make the difference for them. Uh, you got to keep in mind that he on the national team is uh, 
competing with a player who's actually playing outside of Italy in Marco Verratti, right? So if he's able to really show himself and take himself to the next level, because when you're playing in the Premier League, as much as I hate to admit it, there's a certain level of media attention that you're going to get. There's a certain level of stardom that you're bound to make for yourself, right? And if he's able to do that at uh, Arsenal, he should be able to compete uh, in the national team for the starting spot. Right, because uh, Marco Verratti uh, is tremendous for PSG, right? And if he's able to do the same similar sort of effect for Arsenal, it really should be a, a stepping stone for him uh, to make a name for himself, right? He might end up adding, he might end up joining uh, Juventus for all I care. Because uh, to be honest with you, the only thing lacking for Juventus right now is their midfield, because they don't have a midfield. They don't absolutely have a midfield. They've got great attackers. They've got great defenders. But that's what they're missing, right? And signing a player such as uh, uh, specifically Locatelli should be a great signing for Juventus. Now, if they're able to make that. And obviously, they've got a serial winner at Allegri at home who, who knows this player, who knows the player uh, very well. So if he's able to bring him in, it should be a huge difference for either club, right? So we're not sure where it's going, but rumors are suggesting that uh, Juventus are not able to afford uh, the wages uh, and the price tag that he comes with. So Arsenal are the likelier club of the two to sign him. But you never know. Italy is a little bit different than the rest of the world. And it might be that Juventus and prestige that comes along for playing such a club uh, attracts him and he ends up joining them. Thank you so much for watching another video of FDTV. It's been great to have you joining us. Again, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Every single subscription helps. It motivates to put out more football content on a daily basis. Until then, see you next time. FDTV out.